After considering the concept of for loop and while loop, let's now consider the concept of do while loop. Now what is the difference between while loop and do while loop? This is the program in which I used a while loop. Here I have declared a variable i and I have assigned it a value 0. After that I simply check the condition is i greater than 0 or not. If i is greater than 0 we simply evaluate the body of loop otherwise we simply get outside of this loop. Here you can clearly see that 0 is not greater than 0 therefore we come outside of this loop and hence the output is no output. Right? Now here I have written one program in which I used a do while loop. This is how a do while loop looks like. First you need to write a do, then after that you simply write while. This simply means that initially you won't check the condition. After executing the body of loop, you will check the condition. In case of while loop, you first check the condition, then you will evaluate the body of loop. And here in this case, you first evaluate the body of loop and then check the condition. According to do while loop, we first evaluate the body of loop, that is, we simply print the value 0 and we decrement the value. And then after that we check the condition, that is, is i greater than 0 or not? As minus 1 is not greater than 0, therefore we come out of this loop and hence the output is 0. Now you can easily spot the difference between a while loop and a do while loop. Here there is no output, right? Because we first check the condition whether i is greater than 0 or not. And here the output is 0 because here we evaluate this particular statement, that is printf, and we simply print the value 0 here. And after that we check the condition. And hence the output is 0. Okay? Apart from this difference, there is one more difference that we need to note down. Here in case of while, you can easily see that after this while statement you are not writing any colon here. But here you need to put a colon. Please note down this point. This is very very important. If you don't put this colon then you will encounter an error. After considering the difference between the while loop and do while loop, let's address one important question. That is, when should I prefer do while over while? Suppose we need to write a program which allows user to enter an integer until he or she enters a value 0. Now how we can write a program for this? Here I have written the two different versions of program which does this task, that is, it allows users to enter an integer until he or she enters a value 0. In the first version of the program, I am using a while loop and in the second version of the program, I am using a do while loop. As you can clearly see, in the first version of a program, there is one redundancy. That is, we are writing this piece of code before checking the condition and after checking the condition. Why I am doing this? User must first have to enter an integer before checking the condition. Because, if a user won't enter an integer prior to checking the condition, then we won't have anything to check in the condition. As in the condition we have written, n is not equals to 0. If a user won't enter an integer, then there is nothing inside n. And hence, we cannot check the condition here. Therefore, it is important for a user to enter an integer first, then only we should check the condition. Okay? On the other hand, if you notice the second version of the program, there is no redundancy of this piece of code. Now you can easily understand that when should we use do while and when should we use while. Whenever we require to execute the body of loop at least once, then we should use do while loop. And whenever we require to execute the body of loop after checking the condition, then we should prefer while loop over do while loop. Here because we need to execute this piece of code at least once, therefore it is preferred to use do while loop over while loop. Now let's see what would be the output of these two programs. Let's enter an integer, suppose 7, and hit enter. After that it asks again to enter an integer, so we enter 89. Again it asks us to enter an integer, suppose we enter 0, and hit enter. Then it says you are out of the loop. So this program works perfectly fine. And let me tell you one important point. Both the programs does the same task. Therefore, the output for both the programs must be same. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture.